So when I first started doing audio post production, I didn't have you know thousands of dollars to throw away on Cedar and Isotope and Buzzfree and Acon and Absentia DX and all these tools that uh, that we use to mix a film that makes our job easier and and can really help with problem audio. So I just had to use what was available to me. The problem with Isotope is that it'll add artifacts and just make sound stuff really filtered and processed. So if you if you add C4 to your track, um, first let me just bypass this. No processing, just to play you the type of noise we're dealing with. We gotta get out of here. What? Get a boat. A boat. Okay, so it's, you know, there's broadband noise, there's some, it sounds like a jet going overhead, there's kids. Kids I don't mind, but all that grit under there, if the director's like, hey, this is really noisy, and I don't have cedar, I don't either like or have isotope, there's a really cool trick in C4, using C4. You could probably do this with any other multiband expander. Some of the multiband compressors, you can flip stuff around, turn it negative, and they turn into multiband expanders, but I'll just show you in C4 specifically how to do this. So th this is the default settings that come up. Now for the gain, what I'm gonna do to start with is bring that down. And I'm gonna turn the range all the way up. See how that flipped around? It starts out underneath, and then if you make this go positive, you can bring the overall gain on the band down. That means that this band here will start out attenuated by 18 decibels. So same thing on this, bring it all the way up, down, and up. So now when I play this, it's just gonna be quieter overall. I'll play just the noise. So that's bypass, and that's with it engaged. So you can hear it overall the signal, even when they speak. We gotta get out of here. It's just way low. We gotta get out of here about 18 decibels. So now what I'm gonna do is bring this threshold down. See this slider right here? This is your threshold. You can adjust it with numbers, but I like to go, just bring that threshold right above where the noise is for each band. For traffic stuff, you'll end up with this kind of slope where the, you're not taking off so much. And you can even bypass bands if you want but to deal with something like hiss you know you can bypass these low bands and just use the high bands or if you just want to get the rumble out you can bypass all these and just get rid of that sub rumble but these settings are going to be too much when he talks it's still going to be we gotta get out of here you know super low so at this point i'm going to try to match the signal level of the voice between the filtered and non-filtered, so by going back and forth between bypass. We gotta get out of here. So that's super low. We gotta get out of here. Right, so I'm gonna bring, now I'm gonna bring the gain up. This is basically makeup gain at this point. We gotta get out of here. What? Get a boat. Okay. We gotta get out of here. I would say it needs to come up just a little bit more. And the nice thing about using it this way is if like I want it to be a little crispier, I have, you know, control over here of the gain on the high, high mid, low, all these bands. I can change the crossover point uh, to where it's doing, you know, less up here. Or if there's a an HMI buzz right around 4K, I can use that to really zero in on that. So in some ways it's a little more flexible than Cedar, where you've just got, you know, all high, mid, and low bands. Uh, and it's totally artifact free. But the downside to it is you can hear a little bit of gating. So here's the audio. Uh, I'm, I'll just bypass it. We gotta get out of here. What? Get a boat. About. And then with the processing back in. We gotta 
We gotta get out of here. What? Get a boat. A boat. And then I'll just go on this one line real quick back and forth. So bypassed, and then I'll do processed. Get a boat. Get a boat. Get a boat. Get a boat. So it's very transparent. It, it takes out, I would say, anywhere from 3 to 6 dB of noise. And if you don't have cedar, you don't have isotope, or if you're like me and you don't really like the watery artifacts that isotope can create when you uh, start to take out broadband noise, I think it's a great option. And it, it does uh, maintain a little bit more of the full range sound of the dialogue. So a little bit does a lot.